One of the ways to massively increase your social media presence on Instagram as a brand or as an organization is posting beautiful Instagram reels like the one showing on your screen right now. So in the next couple of weeks, in what looks like a series, I'll be teaching you how to create amazing Instagram reels using just your smartphone. If you're already excited as I am, then let's jump right into the video. Okay guys, here we are in a light motion, so let's create a, a composition. Good, we are going to name this Insta Story. Yeah, that's the name of our project. Now we are going to bring in our image, the image we want to use. So I have some that I downloaded. So you can use any image you want, guys. So yeah, right. So I think the best option is to just scale it up like so. Yeah, I think this works. Good. Now, um, the next thing you want to do is to create a shape that you're going to use as a placeholder. You understand what I mean by a placeholder in a bit. All right, so scale it up also. Or for this, you can just use um, this. Yeah, that works perfectly now we want to uh, use this as our placeholder our image placeholder so you click and hold and then select the two and just it click it hold it and then click on this mask so yeah you see now it becomes one one layer all right so you are going to name this as your image placeholder so just call it placeholder Good. Then, um, once you are done, you are going to add um, what I call the uh, gradient map on it because we want to. We don't want it to be just the. If this is what you want, you can just leave it. But for my own design, I would like to make it. So I'll click on this uh, and then click on effect. Go to color and light, and then I'll look for the gradient map. All right so you can also look for that i'm sure you will have it so you select the gradient map and then you edit it as as um as follows all right so now once you have selected the gradient map you come to you see this color i'm going to make this color uh like a dark blue kind of so i'll go to blue and then i'll make it like a dark blue sort of good and then this one I'll make it like a pinkish kind of red yeah like so nice guys so something like that works so you can just adjust yours until you ad achieve whatever you want so but I think this is kind of okay for me except for the blue so i'll make it a little bluish yeah something like that yeah i want you to have that pinkish blue kind of gradient feel right now um the next thing you want to to do now is you are going to create uh, a light leak we want to create a light leak on this so that as we are moving the the as we are going there is this kind of light leaks on our um, project so you want to add I'll fill it up like now to make this as uh, our light leak what you need to do is add your effect so you click on it go to effect add effect and the procedural go to fractal ridges choose um, smooth ripples and then just follow the details on your screen as to how to edit this all right it's very simple now come to evolution once you click on evolution you scroll to the last keyframe so once your playhead is at the last keyframe what you need to do is just adjust your evolution to 1.84 okay 1.84 
So once that is done, you are, you are good. So you move um, to your scale and just scale it to 1.20. Scale to 1.20 and then once you are done with that, you go to seed and then you scroll to 0.03 for your seed. Good. Now once that is done, you go to intensity and then you scroll your intensity to the maximum. Alright? Now you come to your colors. Uh, this black, um, you leave it as, as it is and then this white. You change your white to any color you want your light lick to look like okay so nice or I think um, I'll just use the black as the blue yeah I think that will work better for me yeah and then the blue this one I'll just make it the, the black color good this is what I'm going for all right so um, you see now the bottom color black the top color your light leak okay very simple guys um, if you have any question put it in the comment section all right so now now that we have this the next thing you want to do is click on your layer come to blending and opacity and then click on lighten and then click on screen and then that should do it and then we just want to reduce it a little bit so it's not too harsh okay and if you give it a play now you have this light leak um, in, in your composition and that's exactly what we want to go for good now that that is done the next thing you want to do now is you want to come to uh, your transform for these uh, this one your placeholder okay now for your placeholder you are going to come to 1.15 one seconds point uh, one second one seconds 15 frames and you go to create a uh, come to move and transform come to transform I am going to create a, uh, a keyframe there and then you come to the first keyframe and then just scroll up like so all right now you come to the middle and click on your graph editor click on this one below and then just stretch it like so and that should give you something like this all right and that's what we want all right so next we want to create another square now that we are going to use as a transition effect okay so i'll just fill that up and then at 1.1 seconds 15 frames i'm going to create just the same thing create a keyframe and then at this point I'm going to drag this down yeah like so and then at the middle I'll add the same graph editing and yeah we should have that now all we want to do now is we're going to click on the three layers click and hold and then just click and then you want to click on show in mask it like so and you have something like this so that's what we want to go for like a transition you see very beautiful um, transition that we've made now all right so that is exactly what we want and that is what we have got guys okay so now from here at 1.1 seconds 20, uh, 20 frames one second 20 frames I'm going to add a keyframe to this newly created group now click on that add a keyframe to um, click on transform add a keyframe and then scroll to the end and just give it uh, an animation like that so our composition looks interesting give it a play now you see so it begins to zoom in like so so uh, just to give it that nice um, yeah now the next thing we want to do now is bring in our text so you want to add your text to, to read so the what you want to do now is create a square create a square like so make the color black good now the next thing you want to do is go to your move and transform go to transform and then unlink it like so so you can have your width and your height separate so we are going to just um, do like so until you get whatever it is you are looking for guys so and then click on your move and then just move it to the top like so 
Now, you want to get in your, uh, okay, let's animate it, I think, all right? So I'll just drag this so that it's, yeah, to one second, and then from one second to two seconds, like so. So from here to here. So I'll stop at two seconds, and then I'll come to my move and transform, transform, and then I'll add a keyframe to two seconds, and then I'll go to the beginning of my layer, and then what I'll do now is I'll just close it like so. Good. So you have just this simple animation, you see, simple, and then I'll add our normal graph editing to it, and then we should have something like this. Good. So uh, now that that is done, you are going to put in your text, all right? So we we'll add the text. I'll write more than good. Change the color to white. And then I will use uh, uh, Open Sans or whichever one works for you guys. Any uh, font that works for you. But I, I think Open Sans is okay. All right. So I'll put it to the middle. You see, I'll align to the center. Yeah, this is where you align. Okay, good. All right, guys. Sorry, I have. Um, Qatar, all right, so please pardon me. Okay, so we are just going to drop that in the middle of our square that we created, like so. And then you want to animate your text, so you click on that, go to effect, add effect, go to text, and text transform, fade up by letter, and that's it, guys. We are done. Right, but I think I need to edit the um, end. This end, I'll come here and then I'll adjust this to two seconds. Yeah, so that the same we have the same time between our transition between our um, animation between the black square and our text. You understand? So we add the same. Good. So now you should have something like so. So I'll just adjust it a little bit so we should have something like this. Now just drag your text back down and um, yeah, we should be all set. Just make sure everything looks the way you want it. Good. Now we are all set. Alright. I think I would even want them to come in at the same time so that, let's see. Beautiful. So once you have that, all you need to do is just group them together. Once they are grouped together, then you can just duplicate it, duplicate or copy if you want to. And then I'll come to like five frames after the first one and then I'll paste. And then you click on the new one, go to edit, come to your text and just type in whatever you want in there okay so I'm going to type Instagram lovely done out out so we have that and then I'll just drag it down drag it down like so beautiful just adjust it until you achieve what you want nice now um, Okay, I think I made a mistake before um, that, before this one. So, um, or we can just do it, okay? It's not something difficult. So, you go to group one, go to your move and transform, then come to skew, this skew here, and then just, you know, adjust to minus seven, minus seven degrees. Minus seven degrees. Yeah, I'm supposed to do that before I copy it, but. Since I already done that, we can just do the same thing for the second one too. Minus seven degrees. Beautiful. And you see, that's it, guys. So we're done there. And then now we can just copy it again. Copy. And then we move the same thing. Paste. 
and then we edit it. And then for this text, I'll write stories. Stories. Lovely. Come out, come out, and then you just adjust it like so. Beautiful. So this is it, guys. All you need to do now is just adjust your black background so that um, they are not of the same size, all right, according to your text. So I'll just go in the first one, edit, and then I'll just adjust my, so come to transform, and then you see this one here, no, nope. So you come to your last keyframe here, and then you make sure your, key, your playhead is on your keyframe, and then just adjust it to match with your text. Okay, guys, nice. Let me adjust it a little bit. Yes, like so. That's okay. That's what I'm going for. Beautiful. And then you can just stretch the second one also. Give it a play, you should have something like this. So what you want to do now is just make sure that your layers are at the same level. So, good. And we are almost done, guys. So you see? Boom. Like so. Now, you just want to add the text at the bottom. So what, how you want to do that is you come to your text. Just type in all your hashtags. So say we want to type hashtag insta stories instagram stories instagram stories then hashtag abstract graphics and hashtag um, you can just say a light motion i don't know <laughs> Then we reduce the size a little bit yeah centralize it and then look for a befitting yeah I think that works for me just reduce the size a little bit and then we drag it to the bottom good so with this now you can just animate right so go to effect and then um, the one we already used before, we can still use the same, okay? So, we should have something like that. So, all I want to do now is make it come in by line, not by words or by letter. I want to come in by line, right? So, you see, as I add that line, the, the text just shift a little bit. It um, got slanted a little bit. So, what you want to do is come to angle and then just adjust it so it's, it's straight. It straightens up. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay like so. All right, so if you give it a play now, boom, like so. Good. Nice. So all you need to do now is just trim this one your five seconds and we are done guys look at it so this is how you create uh, an Instagram story and very beautiful so you can use this for whatever it is you want to use it for your brand your your product whatever it is that you want to use it for and it will be converting right